Okay. So the difference between X870E, there's actually a, a larger difference between X870E and X870. X870 is going to be a single chipset. This is a single chipset, the second one here, X870. Whereas X870E is going to be a dual chipset, just like X670E and X670. Now, previously, X670E and X670 are, were using literally the exact same chipset. The difference was that X670E had more PCI Gen 5, whereas X670 had four lanes or something like that. Or it, was, it had like an M.2. Just to reiterate this, this was a Prom 21. I'm just going to say B650. Because it's literally a B650, and this is a B650. So, an X670 is basically two B650s daisy-chained together. This is what X670 was. It was basically two of these wired together and then up to the CPU. This is the AM5. So, meaning, if you bought an X670 motherboard, you literally bought a motherboard that had two B650 chipsets on it. That's all that is. So, if you wanted X670E, the only difference... So, the X670 and the X670E are actually identical. The only difference... PCIe 5.0 X4. This was X670. What you see here is X670. What is an X670E? So now, if I make X670E, the only difference is I have PCIe 5.0 X24. I have, over here, nothing. Because all the lanes are Gen 5. That's the difference. That is the only difference between X670E and X670. This is the only difference. This stays exactly the same, which means if you bought X670E, your physical chipset is still two B650s, and if you bought X670, it's still two B650s. The thing that changes is the, the CPU lanes. The CPU lanes on X670E all run at Gen 5. Whereas on an X670, only four of the lanes run at Gen 5. The remaining 20 lanes run at Gen 4 on regular X670. That is the difference. Now, someone's asking, what about B650E? Okay, B650E is B650 PCI 5 X4. PCI Gen 4 X20. This is a B650 motherboard. Now, keep in mind, I'm not showing you guys the lanes. There, there are lanes down here as well. We didn't list those earlier, but for those that are curious, we have this and we have this. There are all your lanes. If you want to see the total lane count, there's your total lane count. And I have not shown any USB. All that USB stuff is also still in here. So... This is a B650 motherboard. Now, what happens if I want to make a B650E motherboard? The only difference is all of these 20 lanes up here are PCI Gen 5. That's the only difference between B650 and B650E, which means the key takeaway is the E for extreme means... All your CPU lanes are Gen 5. Now, let's go back and discuss the new motherboards because things change here. So let's explain now what is X870E and X870. Okay, so now let's talk about... Here, let's, let's erase this, whatever. So now let's say we have X870. That's the, Promontory 21, that's the generation. And that's why on Tech Power Up's thing... That's why I noticed how it says P21. P21 plus P... At the very bottom row, they've got P21 
P21, P21, P19. P that stands for Promontory 21. That is the name of the the chip on the motherboard. Uh, which means that the chipset is actually the same chipset as X670. Notice how they say P21 plus P21. That indicates dual chipset. Remember how I said two B650s daisy chained? It's actually two Prom 21s or P21s daisy chained. So that's what that means. Okay, so this is an X870 board. So an X870 board is just a B650E in disguise. So X870 is B650E rebranded with mandatory USB 4 via the ASM 4242. There you go. That is an X870. So this is an X870 board. It is a rebranded B650E with mandatory USB 4. So now if we go back and look here at the tech power up chart, check this out. Look at the second column, X870, CPU overclock, yes. Now let's look over at B650E. B650E says yes, yes. Gen 5, Gen 5, the Gen 4 8 plus Gen 3 X4. It is identical, and it even has the same Promontory 21 chipset, P21 chipset for both. It means it is the exact same chipset. The only difference is right here. On board, USB 4, X870 says yes. B650E says optional. The only motherboard, there is a B650E motherboard that includes USB 4. That motherboard is the ASRock B650E Tai Chi. So, there you go. Let's look at that one real quick. ASRock Tai Chi B650E. ASRock Tai Chi B650E. Uh, where is it? Wait for it. One USB 4 Type C. There you go. On a B650E Tai Chi. 24 lanes of PCI Gen 5. There it is. Look at the Thunderbolt logo right there. That USB-C port is actually a Thunderbolt 4 slash Thunderbolt 3 slash USB 4 interface. Which supports PCIe tunneling and everything. So, there you go. This is a motherboard from the year 2022 that had USB 4 on an AMD motherboard. Thunderbolt 4, by the way, on an AMD motherboard. This motherboard features the Intel JHL8540 Thunderbolt 4 chipset. And the final thing, the more you buy, the more you save, the more you buy, the more you save, the more you buy, the more you save, the more you